Hi, welcome to my video on find the equation of a normal line to a curve number 2. Find the equation of a normal line to y equals cos 3 theta theta at theta is pi over 2. So find the equation of a normal line is we have to find the um, slope and the y-intercept, y equals mx plus b, so we'll uh, sub pi over 2 into this equation for theta, and we'll find the value of y, so we get the point. Then we have to do the derivative of y equals cos 3 theta, and the derivative is the slope of the tangent, and when we get the slope of the tangent, we plug in uh, uh, theta equals pi over 2 to get the slope of the tangent at pi over 2 and then the normal is perpendicular to that so when we get the slope of the normal and we have the point we sub it into y equals mx plus b to find the equation. Here we go. Let's find the point first at uh, pi over 2. So at pi over 2, we're going to sub pi over 2, and here we got y equals cos 3 pi over 2, so y equals cos 3 pi over 2. So if we take a, a circle and we draw the axis, if we make a unit circle whose radius is 1, so we got 0, 1, no sorry, 1, 0, 0, 1, uh, negative 1, 0, and we got 0, negative 1, so 3 pi over 2, so 3 pi over 2 is the same as, pi over 2 is a 90, so that's the same as 270 degrees, so if we rotate from here right around and come right to here at 270, so the cos is the x, so the x is, cos is the x, so that's the cos, let's say 270, don't have to do that, we just could let that in radians, so we have cos is 0. So that means the point that we're going to find the equation of the normal is the point is pi over 2 for x and 0 for y. Now let's go and find the slope. So the slope of the normal is the perpendicular to the slope of the tangent. So the slope of the tangent at any point is y prime. So we have y equals cos 3 theta. So notice that now if we don't have a y and x, so it's not dy dx, it's dy d theta. So let's just go through a few steps here just to recall. Let's do the derivative d theta in terms of y. So do d, d theta on each side. And I uh, just showed you this before. So this is dy d theta times d dy times y. And I, what I did, I changed dy d theta and d over dy, notice the dy's cancel out to give you d over d theta. So, didn't have to show you that, but I could have just done the derivative in terms of theta and said we could have done dy d theta or y prime. So the derivative of y in terms of y is 1, and the derivative of a, a cos 3 theta in terms of theta the derivative of cos is negative sine of 3 theta, and don't forget the change rule, we're multiplying it by the inside, it's just 3 theta, derivative of 3 theta is 3, so that gives us dy d theta equals negative 3 sine 3 theta. So, if we look at pi over 2, uh, dy d theta is we're putting uh, 
pi over 2 in here. So we get dy d theta is negative 3. So uh, 3 pi over 2 is 270, and sine is the y. So that's negative 1. So dy d theta is oh, I'm going to say negative, so negative is negative, just 3, positive 3. And as a result, we have um, the slope of the tangent. So the slope of the tangent, which is y prime, is negative 3. But the slope of, we could say, the normal line, or just we could say normal, is the negative reciprocal. So the reciprocal of 3 is 1 third, and the opposite of a negative is a positive. So we have... Um, positive 3 right here so the reciprocal is whoop, see the, I had a positive here positive so that's reciprocal of 3 is 1 third and that's a positive reciprocal is a negative so now we have the slope of the normal which is negative 1 third we have the point as pi over 2 is 0 so y equals mx plus b is the equation of the line. So that's the x and that's the y and that's the slope. So y is 0. Slope is negative 1 third. x is pi over 2 plus b. 0 equals negative pi over 6 plus b. Leave the b on the right side. Move the, the negative pi over 6 over to the left. It becomes pi over 6. So y equals mx plus b. So the slope of the normal is negative one third times x, and this y intercept is pi over six. So there's the equation of the normal to this uh, curve y equals cos three theta at pi over two. So that brings us to the end of this unit. And the next video will be a review of the unit as a little quiz. And again, if you like my video, click on the like button, click on the subscribe button, visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my video, and the content. That's the content of my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Thank you for reviewing my video. Hope the video helped you. Bye-bye.